Okay, we're going to do a short video. Um, it's going to be about how I learned to do the things that I'm doing. Okay, especially when we're doing more watts out than you put in. Um, so let's get started. Okay, what we have in here that's a power supply, and we connected it to this step up okay you can buy that on Amazon you see that it says 12 volts to 48 volts which is connected to our charge controller which is unplugged by the way right there so when we plug that in we're then going to take that 12 volts and put it into this inverter which is too small it's only 150 watts so we can see what the watts out is and then what's going to actually put the watts out this power supply here which will go in and over to this tie grid which will be plugged in and we'll see and monitor what's coming out of the system and what's going into the system so let's get this all hooked up okay now let's look at it we know we got to step up, so anybody who can do math knows how to times those volts times the amps there, even though they're fluctuating. It is also fluctuating here, because this is the cord that we plugged in. So this plugged in here, let's go down here. So you can see the wattage. And the wattage is fluctuating just like it's fluctuating there. Okay? So this is going to tell you at the highest around 50 i seen earlier i don't know if it's going to go there again but you see it's wildly fluctuating but that's what's going into that step up and going into the battery now what's being put out in the grid this is being put out in the grid 66 watts which is what not over the 40 or the 50 so that means that we got this going out is more now i can smell this thing it's overheating right now as you can see it says 92.8 watts and it's pretty steady that's because it's coming from this big old battery okay and if we want to do the math on what's going into the tie grid you have to look at this why because if we follow it around and we go here it's going into this 150 watts right now which we're really pushing the limit on it so we have to get a bigger one of these okay but that's letting you know that this 92.9 watts is more than the wattage that we're putting back into the battery but because it stepped it up from 12 volts to 48 volts this little thing is a happy camper so you can see that we got 20 30 you see 47 and then you can see the watts at the very very top 29.5 25.1 those that's what's coming from the simulated solar but those are power supplies and we know we got two amps and 30 200 two amps see it just dropped down two amps and four amps and 19.19 okay and then we got the battery voltage which is 12 and it's dropping so you understand this is how we do the step up and this is how I learned to do the step up. Let's go again. It's taking it from that power supply, which you can see this only 10 to 11 amps. It's gonna fluctuate in between there, see 10. Then it'll go up to 11. It's also fluctuating there because it's telling you that I'm only taking, you see the 50 right at the beginning and it dropped down, there's 49. Okay, so. 50 is the highest that it goes with CC51, but 50 is about the highest one. It's gonna make me a liar. 57. 
is never going to go to 60. Okay? This is 67.8 coming from that battery. And that's telling you that we're pulling 93.5 watts that's coming from this thing in the back here and is going up here, which we can do that calculation. And then that wire goes up and over around here to this tie grid, which is putting that back into the grid. Okay. That's a simple explanation on all this stuff. Thank you for watching.